if you follow me regularly on Instagram or Twitter, YouTube, anywhere else really, you'll know that I recently did a couple of days for Wagner demonstrating their new 150M gravity fed um, little sprayer in uh, a b and locally. However, today we're going to use it on a real live job. Got a little kitchen extension, so we're going to go in there and see if it's up to the job of actually being used in a real situation. It's all very well using it in a B&Q warehouse on a little bit of lining paper, but would it stand up to a decent day's work on a real life job? Let's find out. Let's get around there. Hello, my, my name's Trev. I run a little decorating business. Uh, we love to share what we get up to. Also, we like to review anything decorating related so that when you come to your decorating project, it may help you save some time and money. If you think this could be useful to you, why not click subscribe, press the like button, click the bell icon, just all, all the jazz you need to do, and you'll be notified when we uh, upload any new videos. We just got here, turned up, lovely day. Floor's covered, luckily, so that saved us a job. Everything looks great. Chip is on uh, second fix, spark is on second fix, so it's brilliant. Um, yeah, everything's going well. We're gonna get some gear in in a minute. We're using Johnson's durable mat on the walls. Good little product there to spray with, so we're quite happy with that. And also contract white on the ceilings. So yeah, everything's looking good. Baby, hit it. Birthday, it was only fair that I treated him to a birthday breakfast. Okay, then, so what have we been up to? Well, we got here, entered the room, that took about half an hour because there's crap everywhere as usual. It's a new build, what do you expect? We then filled the walls, gave them a rub down, uh, then we swept through and uh, got ready to get the sprayer out and get some paint on the walls. The old fashioned and stir of a stick, buy one of these cyclone stirrers for about 15 quid, the best thing I've bought in ages. We really want to give this little Wagner a good good test, so as well as give the paint a good stir up, we also strain the paint uh, into a clean uh, paint kettle, so it had every chance it could to uh, not clog up and spray nicely. Right, so where are we at? What have we done? Fag. What have we done? Fag. We've put a thin down. Fag. <laughs> put a mist coat on the walls, thinned it about 30 or 40 percent, and uh, we've also put a mist coat on the ceilings and a first coat of the finish. So we're doing quite well. What's, what time do we start? 11? What's the time there? 12. So in about an hour. So we're doing all right. We're plodding on. Quick tip from 
Colin Bidwell, if you're spraying the walls, we've got a little um, cordless blower, the wall, that we blow these out with, so that when you spray the walls, all those dust and crap doesn't blow out onto the wall. So yeah, all these empty sockets, just blast them with a bit of air and uh, clean them out. Worked out really well, so yeah, just a little tip there for you. So there we go, all done. Missing two on the ceiling, a mist and a first coat on the walls because no point doing it all because the kitchen's going in from there to there. So once that's in, we'll pop back and uh, finish off putting a coat on the walls. And no doubt by then, the woodwork will be in and we'll be able to do that too. <laughs> That's us done for the day then. So today we've filled up the walls, rubbed them down, used the Wagner Control 150M to spray mist coat. And we missed it. We've juiced down the emulsion probably about 30%, maybe a little bit more. But it, I mean, it went on the walls nicely. So we uh, got a mist coat on the walls and ceiling in white, and then followed by two full coats. We did juice down the Johnson's John Matt that 10% I suppose. So two coats on the ceiling and then one coat of uh, Johnson's durable mat on the walls. So like I said, there's no point putting two on because we've uh, got a kitchen going in. Do you, you want to talk about a spray a bit or not? Really? Thanks. Put it out before you have done a bit. Really? What do you think of it? It's alright, I'll do. I'll do if you, you starting your first spray or at least. Well, I'll tell you what, can you be a little less enthusiastic? That'd be great. Is it right? No, I think it's a good machine. I think it will um, it'll help you get in, find out if you like spraying or not, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a good one to play about on because there's not much that can go wrong on it. There isn't a lot of complication in it. You can't adjust the pressure or anything like that, so all your control is going to have to be done by thinning out the paint. Well, you can adjust the pressure. There is a little Allen key that you can adjust the pressure. Oh, one of the little plus keys. Yeah, yeah, you ain't going to make a shit's worth of difference, to be honest. Yeah, if you were just slapping on mist coats and stuff, it will last for your first few until you can price another, like a proper GX21 or something like that into the job. For £250, it's worth buying if you're thinking about getting into spraying because, like I say, and Ryan says, it'll get you, it'll get the job done, it'll get you through a few jobs. You can see what it did, it was, it was bashing yeah. its guts out, to yeah. be honest, it wasn't... Um... Well, we rocked up to this job sight unseen at 8 o'clock. We had an hour's worth of, like, hours worth of breakfast. And we had half hour lunch, and we got a mist coat, two coats on the ceiling, and a coat on the walls. And we and only, well, but before we say we had an hour for lunch, that was because it was Ron's birthday, and I took him for a birthday breakfast. It's, it, it's a sprayer, it works. Yeah, you get what you pay for. We're on, we're on day work, so we sort of shot ourselves in the foot a bit. But anyway, regardless of that, if you're on a price, I don't know what you'd price that kitchen up at. What? I don't know. Uh, probably 500, 600 pounds? 500? I'd say 7, 8, but. Well, yeah, so we, I've got five, Ryan's got seven, so if we said somewhere like six... Yeah, it helps, it does, it goes quick. So if you said £600, you know... And we weren't exactly rushing, we had quite an easy day, didn't we? Yeah, we did, exactly. hard. We did, um, did have a few lunches. We do like a lunch. Do like some But, yeah, I mean, like I say, the only way to find out is a um, fork out, I think, at £250 at B&Q, and give it a go, you know. If it works for you, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't we find it as you know it's like I say it's not going to last forever that machine but then Doesn't it's not meant to, to. it's yeah. just to get you get you into the rhythm of spraying and get you you know understanding what to do how to mask up and what goes wrong with the machine and exactly how much to thin the paint out by 
Well, everyone does it on percent, so we just kind of do it by eye, don't we? Yeah, but, um, yeah. but anyway, yeah, it's probably, it is, well, I, we, I think, we both think it's a worthwhile investment if you're thinking about getting to spray, and that's about all could be said for it. Yeah, you won't lose it's money a, buying it. No, it's a stepping stone. You'll either be a forward stepping stone onto another machine, or a backward stepping stone, thinking I'm going to go, I'm going to stick to a roller and a brush. So, like one of those stepping stones in Takeshi's Castle where they slip into the water, or they go on to win. Yeah. Anyway, I hope all this has helped. So either buy it or don't. Simple.